Um, for someone says they actually know you, Rabbi Friedman, they've met you personally. Uh, Shayna has a question for you, Rabbi Friedman. Hey, Shayna, how are you? I'm good. How are you? You still have questions? I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the question is, how do I trust Hashem when he doesn't like reveal himself? Like we all know Hashem's hidden and he's not just like a person who can like console us in hard times. So how do we um, like have trust in him? What do you mean by trust? How can you trust that he's there, that he cares, that he exists? Um, how can we trust that he's like, like how do we know he's there for us? You know, like. He's not, we don't know he's actually there, so how can we trust that he's there? Hmm. Well, there, there, there are a few simple answers, okay? Let's not get to the, to the difficult ones. You're alive, you're functioning, you're pretty much safe. Where is that coming from? In other words, if God is giving you a day of life, then obviously he's still interested in you, He's still hoping f that you fulfill the purpose that he needs you to fulfill. He hasn't given up. Got to another question. And the fact that you have an obstacle, well, that's the job. Get past the obstacle, and then you've turned the darkness into light. You've turned the bitterness into sweet, and you've brought heaven down to this otherwise nasty world. So yes, the world is nasty. It's got pain. It's got ugliness. But her job is to fix it. So, you know, like walking into a dirty kitchen and saying, oh, I can't clean this kitchen. It's all dirty. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, yeah, because it's dirty. That's why we need you to clean it. So take a hint from the fact that God is keeping you on earth, keeping you healthy, keeping you safe, and trusting that you'll get the job done. So he has confidence in you. You should have confidence in him.